Hi, this is Mr. Wedge, and today we're going to do a batik. It's like a artwork on fabric, and we're going to use a resist method. Um, and we're going to paint it next time, but today we're just going to do the glue on the fabric. Okay, so for our batik today, we are going to have, we're going to need some fabric, we're going to need some glue. Uh, Elmer's uh, white glue is fine, or any kind of white glue. It's going to need to be washable, though. It has to be a kind of glue you can wash off later. And then a batik design, or you can come up with your own, but I like this, I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to put it underneath my fabric, like this, and I can still see my design underneath. So now I've got to open my glue, so I turn it to open it, pick the dry glue off the end, and I'm going to hold everything really still, and then trace over it. So wherever I see lines, I'm going to trace right over them. And it's hard because you have to squeeze the bottle and draw at the same time. But you'll get good at it. Just take some practice. So we're not we're trying not to get puddles, but we're trying to get straight lines. And you could do dots too. You could also draw a picture of something if you want to. So I filled up my fabric with this pattern. And now I'm gonna go across but you might choose a different pattern, one that has more curved lines in it. And you see I messed up there a little bit. You can go in and fill it in and fix it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we just want a nice pattern on our fabric with glue. And I'm going to go in and fill these with squares. Like that. That's a little trickier if you get into detail like that. but. Just try your best. Keep it simple, but if you want to do something more complicated, you can always add patterns inside a pattern. I'm going to keep going and then I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I filled up my fabric with my pattern, and now that I'm done, I can close my glue and put that away. I can really carefully slide out my um, sheet that I printed out my pattern and this has to just stay nice and flat somewhere um, you can move it maybe or you could um, if you have scrap paper under it you could lift the scrap paper and set it on a shelf or a table uh, the glue takes about um, it takes about half an hour to dry if it's thin if it's really thick it's gonna take all day so you wanna leave it overnight before you uh, before we paint on it but that'll be in the next part, so work hard, have fun.